this is a park, like a little walkway, and I get a lot of weird looks when they see a grown man laying on the ground photographing flowers. I'm one of those weirdos that photographs flowers. If you're looking for a hobby that allows you to get uncomfortably close to nature, this is for you. Not so uncomfortable for me, but I imagine onlookers and the flowers might even feel a little weird. Anyway, let's invade nature's personal space. Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Macro photography. Spring is in the air here in Idaho. Although there aren't a lot of blooms out and about, there's enough to pique my interest. I am going to go ahead and record the screen. I have the Atmos Ninja 5 on. So all of the settings that I'm using, you'll be able to see that. Let's go see if we can make some pretty images. So a couple of thoughts that are always in you know, the front of my mind when I'm doing macro photography is number one, depth of field. I'm not just watching what the subject looks like, but I'm looking very carefully at the background. Uh, the beautiful thing about macro lenses is that they have such a shallow depth of field, incredibly shallow. So you'll see through the screen that I'll sometimes bump that f-stop or the aperture and what I'm doing is I'm watching through the viewfinder to see what that background starts to look like. The thing with these mirrorless cameras is as good as they are as showing you what the image is going to look like through the viewfinder, for some reason I see it doesn't exactly translate when it comes to depth of field. Always go back and kind of review your images as you're shooting at those different depths of field. Another thing I absolutely love about macro photography is it gets your mind kind of thinking outside of the box a little bit. You can be a little more abstract. That's one of the beautiful things about photography. It's yours. Do with it what you want. Um, and if it's beautiful to you, you win. There aren't as many flowers out as I imagined, so I might explore this area a little longer and then uh, boot scoot to somewhere else. With macro photography, I can spend hours photographing an area no bigger than my living room. And when I move on from that area, it's with an understanding that I saw about a tenth of what there was to see. It's easy to get lost in that small world. And sometimes folks come along and admire the beauty with me. I don't know. Can't wait to get home and figure it out though. I am horrible at identifying plants. No, you're fine. Come on in. Yeah, they, uh, they're pretty. I, I just don't saw know what that. It, is. it looks almost, almost like an orchid. Yeah, right? I mean, it's gorgeous. There's, there's a lot of wild orchids in Idaho. What a treat. Um, some sort of wild orchid. I don't know what it is. I can't wait to get home and try to figure that out. A lovely lady came by and kind of congratulated me on my find. It's pretty exciting. I don't even know how to photograph it. It's just so low to the ground. I can't really get a decent background. But that was pretty cool, so look close, guys. Look close. You never know what you're going to see. Fun. Found some water droplets. That's pretty exciting. Never know how to photograph that either, other than just make it look pretty. Love that about macro. I'm never right or wrong, right? It's just 
fun composition. I'm gonna keep playing with the water droplets because they're amazing. Oh my goodness, water droplets are the best. I mean, I don't know how any of these are gonna turn out, but it's almost like I'm in a magical little world. I turn into a nerd, I mean, I get giddy. Oh, and uh, Z9, one of the beautiful things is those high megapixels and I can go in a DX mode, crop in a little more. Uh, so 1.5 turns 100 to what, 150? I mean, a little bit better. Or I could crop in and post, either way, it doesn't matter that much, but what a beautiful little world, the world of dewdrops. I'm gonna travel a little deeper into the woods. Not as many flowers, I'm noticing, but there's a lot of that texture that just looks so good when you get close up to it. This is a park, like a little walkway, and I get a lot of weird looks when they see a grown man laying on the ground photographing flowers. <laughs> My wife thinks it's cute, but I think other people look at me like, what is this weirdo doing? But I'm having fun, they don't know, they don't have a clue. You guys know though, you guys know what's up. Hey, technically speaking, macro photography is not very difficult. Sure, I'm using a Nikon Z9 with that new macro lens, but you don't need the newest gear. Additionally, you don't need a lot of support gear. Some macro photographers use a tripod. However, I feel like a tripod limits your ability to run through the different compositions. I do admit though, those new tracking modes in the mirrorless systems make it incredibly easy to lock on the subject in just kind of change the composition on the fly. I keep the shutter speed super high in these handheld configurations, and it seems to work out fine. So that was another cool find. I have no idea what that flower is, but I'm gonna go home and look it up. Another thing about carrying this macro lens is your opportunities get a little limited. I just ran across some Anna's hummingbirds. There were two of them messing around in the bushes up there. And uh, I don't have my, my lens to take pictures of birds. But I've taken a lot of pictures of Anna's hummingbirds. I'll show you a few of those. The sun's getting bad, but that doesn't matter. I just use my body as shadow and still get some beautiful images. Guys, if you're not using your macro lens, if you're not trying macro photography, get out there and do it. This is a beautiful form of photography. It really slows you down. And it's amazing what you can see if you just look a little bit closer. I know it sounds a little silly to say that a flower or a plant has personality, but I swear I see it, especially when I really examine them. Listen, it's wonderful to get outside, take a walk and casually experience nature. However, macro photography allows us to cultivate an intimate bond with our surroundings. Yeah, I know, like I said, it sounds silly, I get it. I hear myself. If you think it sounds silly, you should see how ridiculous I look getting the photos. I honestly have no idea what most of these flowers are. I'll tell you what's fun though, is to watch people pass by and see this grown ass man laying on the ground trying to photograph flowers and I've got this massive contraption here. I got another contraption pointing at me. There are a lot of photographers out here but I think I look like I'm going a little overboard like I'm doing some sort of documentary or something. I have to answer a lot of questions. Let's just put it that way. But it's fun, right? It's our hobby. I don't make it more than 
10, 20 feet without finding something else to photograph. This does slow you down. I'm just gonna warn you. If you wanna do macro photography, get ready to not go more than 100 feet in two hours. I'm just, I get overwhelmed. I see something, I'm like, oh, look at that. There's something else. I love it though, it's fun. I've had the most wonderful morning. It has been, it's been magical, seriously. There's something kind of healing about getting down on your belly and getting eye level with the world that's just under your feet. One downside of having a macro lens attached is I did miss some bird opportunities. That, that's gonna happen. It doesn't matter what lens you have on. If you have a bird lens on, there's a macro you wanna see, vice versa. That's just the world we live in as photographers. I encourage you guys to throw that macro lens on. Get out in the world and just get a different perspective. It's, it's just refreshing sometimes. It's refreshing to kind of change the pace, slow down and get a closer look. If you like this type of content, if you like tagging along in nature and uh, you find this inspiring, it makes you want to go put your lens on, check out this video. Other people liked it. It's, uh, it's just peaceful and fun to get out and enjoy nature. Thank you so much for tagging along. I sincerely appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.